Welcome to Spoiler Check, or should I call it Art Check, as Alt-Art. we are going <laughs> Alt Art Check, yeah. as we go through the BT17 alternative art versions of the cards that come with the set, or you can pull from the set. Yeah. Uh, so this is just gushing about the arts, uh, appreciating the artists, and uh, all that good shit. So please. If you enjoy this kind of content, subscribe, like, and comment. And if you really enjoy, maybe uh, consider becoming a channel member to help us out. Yeah. Let's start uh, with the Omnimon. Uh, we are going this uh, by the release, so and then the chase alt also. This time, last time we didn't do those, but now we are going to do those also. Uh, yeah, Omnimon is the first one that was revealed by Morishita. Uh, it's good. Not my favorite Omnimon art. <laughs> it's a solid one. Yeah. Om- Omnimon is su- such a strange looking Digimon, Digimon that it also like puts <laughs> some... It's, it's a little bit problematic design because it looks so wonky. <laughs> yeah, it's like it, it should not be standing with those portions <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah it's Digimon so I, I like the design of Omnimon but yeah as you said it's kind of problematic and I don't enjoy the background color in this art yeah I'm not sure what the background is supposed to be here is it some kind of like Digi corridor st- uh, style of thing or or is it like or like is it going through like digital world here yeah. or something? I, I don't I don't know. But Morichita is a good artist and has done a lot of Digimon. <laughs> Digimon yep. art arts. I, I, w- I would prefer this art to have like a silver background. <laughs> then yeah. it would pop, pop much better for me. But uh, it's great. Yeah. Then we have the Tamer. Matt and Ty Tamer Alt, which to my eye looks really <laughs> awkward. Google, <laughs> Google AI Omnimon. Yeah, I, I, I need the, this. I need someone to just put Google eyes on that Omnimon. <laughs> it would make this so much more fun. And then we have this little like nitpicky here that this card is red and blue. But then the Tamers and the Omnimon like sides are blue and red. Yeah, so, so that just ah, <laughs> drives me crazy. <laughs> those are the small things. Yeah, I, I I guess this is again one of those like movie poster kind of things. This yeah, art because it doesn't there's have an no artist. artist. Yeah, uh, and yeah, I I like it. Like, I kind of like it. Altar tamers are nice, and I much rather have this sitting on my uh, table than the normal one. But like, uh, kind of wonky, kind of wonky. The Omnimon yeah. is wo- wonky. <laughs> the Omnimon looks so. I don't know how to describe it. It looks. I, I, I think it's the eyes. The eyes are somehow yeah. like really... They don't feel like eyes of a powerful Digimon in this picture. <laughs> yeah. Oh. If they were... If, if it looked more angry or something like that, I'm not so surprised. It would be <laughs> much better. And then yeah, the, but... the crest of courage in the shield on the right is like wonky. I don't yeah. love, like how it's drawn. Yeah. Tamer alts are good though, because tamers easily sit on the table for multiple turns and you don't put anything on top of them most of the time if you're not playing hybrids, but like yeah. usually your cool tamer arts sit on the table. So yeah. it's it's nice to have tamer alts, but they, they have really like gone hard with these like poster art things yeah. lately. But it, it's nice to have Altar Tamer, so 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I would like to have more like like I, the I seeker like the, stuff. Yeah, I like the altar tamers, but the seekers were good, and we are talking about another uh, another seekers alt uh, altar tamer later on the, in this video. But yeah. the seeker alt tamers are nice because they're like they are. Uh, they look like they're part of a collective, but they're not from the same mold. So yeah. it's like they all have like their own things, and they are not like the the adventure tamer alts that are like okay, they Just are different, copy -paste, but, they, yeah. but they're basically copy paste. And then then there were the BT12 tamer arts, yeah, alts. Yeah, they are really good looking. I'm not saying I'm not saying that, but they are basically just copy paste job yeah, they, from it's, each other. it's so boring that they use all the same like backgrounds and yeah like yeah and ideas. They, they're and they're i th i think they're all all going to the same direction even yeah like n no one of them are going from left to right or right from right. Yeah. i don't remember what which way they are going in the pictures but like and even not even one tamer goes from the other side to the other. Yeah, <laughs> I, I would love to see like tamer arts, especially in this set because this is the uh, movie set, like uh, recreation of the scenes in the movie. Mm. But this is what we got. Uh, not the best, but I still appreciate. Yeah, tamer arts are nice. Yeah, I would I would like to see more like original tamer alts yeah. basically but um th then we, then we can to... talk about my favorite alt out of this this set, is so great this is so dark and gritty armageddon <laughs> uh by now Jim morishita yeah morishita here we see like morishita's one of what i think is their best like quality they can make such dark and gritty and like scary looking stuff and Armageddon should look like that. Yeah. I can't wait to see this in person because the texturing and uh, the glossiness makes this much like more lively. Yeah. Than just and the, the uh, like a scan of the art. Yeah. And I, I think this is like there are other good Altarts in this set, but like this is one of the altarts that really popped for me when I saw it, and I don't have much like <laughs> like <laughs> emotional connection to this set because I think BT17 for myself is probably the worst set maybe ever in Digimon card game. Like there have been bad sets before for myself, but like this set is just other garbage for me yeah there's not i think there's not not even a single super rare that i actually care about <laughs> yeah and after ex6 and bt16 which yeah. both are like really great sets this feels like a filler set for me also there is few decks that i'd like to build but or update but uh yeah not, not the best set, but yeah, the art is great, and I really, I really like how like disturbing Armageddon Mon looks in this photo, or this in this art. Yeah, and it's like this. I'm not sure. It, it it gives this dystopian vibe that there's nothing left in the world except this Armageddon Mon that is just roaming around and destroying everything. Yeah, it's a super great, super rare <laughs> art. art. I really enjoyed this, and I love that this is a black and white card. Yeah, it's it's hard to make like if your super deck is supposed to like really play the level sevens. That it's almost hard to make them like only white. Yeah, nowadays because especially it, because it, the yeah, trainings and memory boost and all yeah, those. Yeah, they basically they basically anti combo your deck if you just make them only white. Yeah. <clears throat> and the next one, uh, let's talk about the Imperial Drummond first. I put them wrong order for us, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, the I Imperial, well. Imperial Drummond Paladin Mood Ace is really nice art. I really do like this. Yeah, this is probably the best Paladin Mode art we have. 
Yeah. Buy a huge Although, mansion. Yeah, but we don't have. We have only like two paladin mode arts, I think. Uh, or three. Yeah. So because. Well, well, if we are talking about Imperial Ramon fighting fighter mode and paladin mode, this is probably still the best art, in my opinion. Could be, could be. This looks uh, so much less like a figurine and much more Digimon-ish. Yeah, it's like, I I think I have been talking about, I'm not sure if I have, to, I have talked about in this channel, but to me, like the fighter mode, uh, the fighter mode especially, does look like a toy. Yeah. And most of the alts make it look even more like a toy, and even like a wonky toy, and I'm like, I really don't care about this Digimon. <laughs> yeah, it does not do a favor. Yeah, but this Most is epic. Time. This is really good. I really like this. And this is a really great card, so it's really nice that we have a great art in the great card. Yeah, this is going to be... It's going to be interesting to see this card, because there are, like, some use cases for this in, like, outside the Imperial Ramon stuff, so... Yeah, I think this is really splashable for green yeah. and... Uh, what is, what is that? Blue? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, even, even the, and even maybe something like security control or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Royal Knights also could play this. Yeah. But then we got the Tamer for this, for the Paladin mode. The uh, Davis and... Yeah, Davis and Kim. Yeah. Uh, now we have the colors on the right sides. That's nice. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I like the tamers here, but the paladin mode looks wonky. <laughs> so the back, mode. back to the normal route with paladin mode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, paladin, the paladin mode seems, or like, uh, it seems like either the paladin mode or the tamers have been just slapped on top of the art of the other, or like on the background of the other. Mm -hmm. it, it, they don't feel like they belong in the same picture. This Basically. is so weird. The Paladin mode, I'm, I think it's supposed to be like a huge Digimon. And it looks so tiny in this picture <laughs> because of those tamers. And like, yeah, yeah, not my favorite art or alt art in this set. Yeah. So let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and this is my favorite uh, altar in the set, the Gallantman Crimson mode. I understand. <laughs> I really like the colors. The background is so soft and like... Then you have this red and gold. Yeah. Like deep, deep... Not, well, not deep, deep, kind of deep red and gold. Yeah. It's like this... Me metallic is not even maybe the right word, but still it's... It, the Crimson Mode really pops from the like background. The, the contrast is so great. I have to actually make a confession. I forgot that Crimson Mode has wings. <laughs> yeah. It's not so like... Uh, it's, it's not obvious from the... I think from the other arts. Yeah, they, of course, they, yeah, they are too. there. But like they are not like... Well, also, I haven't seen Crimson Mode that much. Usually when I see it, I die, so... <laughs> <laughs> they are there in the... Uh, yeah, alt yeah they, art, they, but they... Then there's the yeah. flame in the alt art. Yeah. And... Well, in the normal art, in the EX2, they are there, but... Like... They don't yeah, pop that the, much. In, in, yeah, in the alt art, they are not really, like... Obvious. Yeah, in the Evolution Cup altar, they are really <laughs> obvious, but uh, we haven't seen that in person. Yeah, but this is a good one. It's again some Morista goodness. Yeah, I really need this. Oh, of course. Time to continue blinging Gallantmon. For and for, for some reason, Gall Gallantmon <laughs> alts usually just have a premium price. Yeah, they cost an arm and a leg. Uh, Even if they're not like, if they are never in a good deck, and I will say Gallantmon will not be a good deck even after BD17. Yeah, it won't. So it's like, 
you will probably like pay 30 to 40 euros for this altar or something just because it's Gallant one. <laughs> At least you can play it in Royal Knights also. It's not a Royal Knight, but it's a good uh, answer to floodgates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you can you blast can this. Blast this on top of like yeah, Gangomon. Blast this one. Yeah. Yes, blast this one on the Gangomon and Yesmon and Gallant one also. Some. Yeah, Gallant one, yes, of course. Yeah. Then we move back to the uh, wonky tamers, the crimson mode uh, on the Takuya, what? Takato uh, looks kind of wonky. And <laughs> yeah, on, I, here I, also the wings are not that obvious. I don't know, why Why do the, all of these knights look so damn awkward in these, yeah. <laughs> these tamer alts? <laughs> but like this is... From, but I, from but this I tree, like, this is the best, at least. Yeah, yeah, this, this is definitely the best. I This has, like, action and, like, a, like popping colors and everything yeah. like that. So I, I can, I can like, forgive the kind of stupid-looking Digimon on the back because I like the art as a whole. Yeah, and Takato is, is there in the middle and is the focus point of the card. Yeah. It's, it's like, of hard to make when you have double tamers that how do you make the <laughs> tamers like focal points yeah and somehow somehow they made the especially in the first tamer the um matt and matt and ty are really like static and in the second tamer there's ac actually some action but this is the like the best one of these three yeah because but here we really are doing something and i like the colors the like pink ish Pink, yeah. <laughs> pink is pink, it's, yeah. It, it's and like the purple, yeah. And the, like you have the red, crim, crimson mode that is like red or crimson. How do you want to yeah, say it? It's crimson. And then you have, <laughs> yeah. And then you then you have the pink and like pink is purple or purple and pink or yeah. How do you want to? I I really oh. enjoy these colors. Yeah, this is a good one. This will look great at my. Binder because I don't play Gallant Mona, I'm just playing it. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the Ancient Greymon. Yes. Yeah. I, uh, I really do enjoy this. I, I like when we have altars that feature other Digimon also, although the other Digimon in this picture are mostly just bad cards, but like. <laughs> yep. This, I, and I, I, I enjoy that this is like a callback to the BD7 Metal Greymon. Metal Greymon. Yeah, BD7 Metal Greymon. Uh, Altar. Uh, Ancient Greymon or Metal Greymon? Metal Greymon. What the heck is Metal Greymon? Uh, I, I, I will not edit into the video, so just Google or check Digimon ah, card. That one. One. Oh, that, oh, that one. Yeah. Right, right. It's like the same, but, <laughs> but not. I really, it's really do enjoy this. Yeah, it's an. I, I'm not a big fan of like the ancient Greymon as a Digimon, but like this altar works. Yeah. Is this some co sort of? Oh, is this a new-ish? Oh, this art artist. No, it's not. Okay. Okay. The art style is. Kind oh, of well, new. okay, okay. There, they have arts from like BT. Well above the words, so they're newish. Yeah. Or like I think some of these oh, are from okay. yeah. 11, 11 alts. But yeah. Like. The BT eleven. Uh, what are those? Like <laughs> the rare, the campaign rares. Yeah, or campaign something? rares. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, BT uh, fourteen Patamon line. Yeah. yeah uh, except Anjumon. Oh, Anjimon also, oops, yeah, it was just later because it's a secret rare. Yeah. Yep, yeah. so, but new is to, like, Digimon card game. Yeah. Like, from e, uh, from EX uh, BT12, but, like, there's not many cards there, and, like, yeah. you now they've done more and more, like, lately. Great stuff. I really yeah. do dig, it, dig this. I should probably grab the BT4 Ancient Greyman Altars. <laughs> Do that. Yeah, I like. I don't like like 
Red Hybrid that much, but I really enjoy Ancient Greymon. Yeah. Then we have the Tamer Altar. This is one of those better. Uh, I I think this is this works yeah. to me. Yeah. It's like the the Crimson Mode has the like funky looking Digimon on the back. Yeah. Here the I think the Ancient Greymon here is not as like plastic on the back. Yeah, and of course it's more like uh like a shadowy figure on the back. Yeah. And it, uh, it feels like it's a shadowy or a spirit type of thing. Yeah, and that's what it's supposed to be because Agunimon uh, and Burning Greymon uh, etc are like uh the spirit of um, uh, the ancient Greymon. Yeah. And that's why uh who is he? Takuya? Takuya Kandra? <laughs> yeah, Takuya becomes a uh, Digimon. So, I, I really like this. I really enjoy this. Yeah. And this this will look really cool on the table. Yep. I'm so hyped to play Ancient Greymon. It's one of those decks I've been playing off and on and off and on <laughs> <laughs> since BT4. Oh, it was uh, my from my first box of PT4. I pulled Ancient Greymon Altart, but then I traded it to uh, Lilithmon <laughs> when they <laughs> were both like 30 euros. Yeah, just think about that. Base Lilithmon was 30 euros. Yeah, good old Lilithmon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they but were yeah, this is expensive. <laughs> yeah, this is great. And then we have the other side. Uh, the ancient Garurumon. This is a callback to the uh, Ver Garurumon from BT7. Uh, if you want to see it, just Google it. I will not edit this because I'm too lazy and tired now. <laughs> uh, and ancient Garurumon is great looking Digimon, in my opinion. I really like it. It's one of the best Garurumon megas we have. It's a cool looking. Yeah. Cool looking Digimon. And I feel like there is like the better half of the <laughs> ancient uh, warriors. The ancient Swingsmon and ancient Mermaimon look really great. And then uh, ancient Troimon is super nice there. No. Uh, no, that's that's ancient Megatheriumon or something like that. Yeah, the, uh, but there is the ancient Troimon. Oh, the tro uh, yeah, it's it's on the. Oh, I didn't realize it's on the like. Yeah, there. it looks like it's like a cannon for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a Gerrimon. Yeah, but it the Megatrimon like also is there. Yeah. I would like. I would like them to actually make the ancient, like, the ancient Digimons again. Yeah, but but there. Yeah, but like make them actually playable yeah because like the five evolve cost basically killed all of them yeah and they may well they were like except acceptable when they were the secret rares the ancient garurumon and ancient greymon but <laughs> the uncommons <laughs> with and, five and rares. yeah with five play uh, five digital cost and like barely any effect were like bad yeah I just want a good ancient Mermaimon. Yeah. One of Can my I favorite ask? Digimon memories is when my brother uh, played in BT6 tournament. His one and only tournament he played. And he played uh, against uh, well, Gabu Bond in BT6. And he played ancient Troimon deck. And <laughs> he just didn't know what to do. He hard slammed ancient Troimon for 13 put uh, his opponent to 10 and won the game because <laughs> Ancient Troimon just <laughs> kills Gabumon <laughs> uh, bond of uh, friendship. <laughs> that was so poetic. <laughs> Fun. Yeah. But yeah, then we have the Koji. This is uh, not as good as Takoya, but good also, in yeah. my opinion. It's a cool one. <laughs> yeah. I think this is less dynamic, in my opinion. Yeah, that's true. But at least I, I, th I think this is the better ones 
yeah. of the like tamer alts. It's yeah. like these all these like singular tamers alts. They were so much better. Yeah. They don't need to share the room with the <laughs> other tamers there, so. Yeah. Then next we have uh, altar from one of your favorites, I think. Yeah, Asmaria. Uh, Shine Greymon Burst Mode. And this is finally a great art for Shine Greymon Burst Mode. I really did not enjoy the BT13 ones. <laughs> it looked so wonky for some reason to me. Uh, but this is great. I really like this. The background, once again, is like uh, contrasty enough for the Digimon, compared to Digimon, and the flames look like hot. <laughs> really hot flames, and the uh, colors in the uh, Shine Greymon is, uh, are really great. So metallic and shiny. And it's I, also inter in interesting because Asmaria has done like less and less arts lately. And that's it's sad. Strange. Of course, their BT16 will have the Rapid Mon and X Antibody, like normal alt arts that are like Asmarias, but. Uh, yeah. And I'm not. I don't know if he has done the alts because I can see it from here, but he has. Or they have done like less and less. Yeah. There's like. From BT15, they have like two cards. BT14, they have like. What? Two cards. <laughs> uh, that's. But maybe uh, maybe we will, we will see more Asmaria art, arts later. It's like I I always forget like what arts are Asmarias, and now that I'm looking, they made it really like they haven't done a lot of accent art arts. Yeah, that's true. Like Wargreymon X, Galangmon X, Metalgarmon X, Magnamon X, the original one, Gaiomon, Yesmon X, Dark Knightmon X, Omni X. Jesmon GX, <laughs> Black War, Gr Black, Black War Greymon X, <laughs> Wolf Force, Vedramon X, <laughs> Chaos Dramon X, <laughs> and Leviamon X. Actually, <laughs> Leviamon X is really great, and it's one of my favorite uh, arts from that set. Yeah, but I I do enjoy this uh, this Shine Greymon Burst Mode alt, although I don't enjoy the Digimon as uh, as, a, as as itself. But <laughs> yeah, but the art this is, is great. This is, and this will probably look really good foiled and like textured. Yep. Well, we have to see how damn expensive this will be because Shy Greymon is still a great deck. Yeah. Next we have a another tamer a tamer alt with a, a little bit funny looking Digimon on the back. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah. The burst mode on the back is like a uh, little wonky. It looks look like it's trying to hide its like double chin, <laughs> or it looks bored oh, well. at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Marcus looks good. Yeah, and the uh, colors are like yeah. really nice. So I'd really I, enjoy I... this much more if the like Shine Greymon, Shine Greymon's head would be like bigger. On the back, and uh, Marcus would also be bigger. Could be, could be. But oh, it's just the Marcus, but yeah, that that's these, not these what we got. Yeah, these these are just like probably the movie poster things from Japan or something. Yeah, some promo material. Yeah. Uh, then let's move to some seekers alt arts. Oh, this Pulseman is so great. <laughs> I'm First sad thing. that it lost the uh, <laughs> Logamon, but like yeah. this is I'm not, still I, good. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Logamon is like supposed to be there on the right side, just out of the picture. Oh, oh, is that? Or, it it might, might be. be, but I'm not like completely sure. But still, uh, the Pulse one itself is like good. And I, I've been enjoying these, like, Seekers, Rookie, Alt Arts also. Yeah. Oh, it's not Logamon, because Logamon's nose is dark, too. Ish. Yeah. There. Sad. Yeah, <laughs> missed opportunity. It's Numemon, probably. Numemon's eye. 
Oh, yeah, could be, could be. Possible. Well, if you know better, you can just leave a comment. And tell us what it is. Yeah. But yeah, yeah but. the Seeker alts are all great, in my opinion. And it's nice that I think um, Tonami Kanji has done, like, all of them. So oh, it might be true. So they're, like... Uh, consistent in their style, yeah. but again, again, they are like their own alt arts, yeah. with their own like uh, situations and like feelings. It's like so. the same world with different objectives in yeah. the camera. Oh yeah, it it really is Numemon. You can see uh, the both of the eyes, and then there is ah. the top of the head on the right the, uh, corner. Ah, uh, true, true. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is great art, in my opinion. Yeah. And then we uh, we warp into the level 6 straight away. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we have a Kazuchimon alt art, again from Tonami Kanji. Yeah. This, I like the alt, but I'm not, like, completely sold on it. No, I, I, I really I, I, do enjoy this. The colors are really I, great. Since the colors are nice. I would maybe... I don't know. I, I would have wanted to see maybe something. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of this, like, this a side profile kind of, like, not even a real action scene. Yeah, kind it's of like thing. they're just charging before attack or something. The, I, I, I think this looks really great next to Ferry Lugamon Altart, the BT-41. Yeah, that's that's a possibility. Because they're like facing off. And before the <laughs> before the uh, next Doru Goramon Altart was revealed, uh, I saw Facebook comments that wished that it was like uh, the Ancient Greymon, Lucemon and Ancient Karurmon trio from BT-4. And it uh, would, would have been really great, but it wasn't so sad. But yeah, this I I, I really enjoy this art. They should probably make more of those like connected like, arts. Con connected arts, especially with like I think the the Royal Knight arts could have been like some sort of connection. Yeah, I'm connecting. still salty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <coughs> but Kazuchiman um, is. I, I really enjoy the dynamic colors and the like. Uh, color colors of the card, like the yellow and green, really fits with the Digimon because it's also and like, like gold the, and green. And like the green lightning is like novel enough to be interesting. Yeah, will really uh, would really like to see this like in physical form. Yeah. With textures. Probably, probably really good. <laughs> yep. And then, then we, we have, have the, the tamer. tamer. Leon Alexander. This is once again... Uh, this is what like the best Tamer out in the set. Yeah, this is a... This is a really good one. It's it's again these Seekers Tamer alts that are in the same world, but from different... But they are different pictures from like different places in the world. So. Yeah. I'm just wondering, well, what is that Numemon, Numemon, uh, Mamemon doing on the top <laughs> left corner? My planet needs me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it tried to attack uh, Leon and Postmon, but... Uh, <laughs> just went. <laughs> yeah, did not succeed. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I, I really enjoy cards that make you laugh. That is a that is a good point. There yeah. are some of those and they are fun. Yeah, especially like the uh, King... Is it King Edamon? That is like the Gallantmon from BT2 or BT3. And then there is the King Mamemon. <laughs> those two are like <laughs> really fun. Yeah. 
But yeah, it's, uh, all right, it's Prince Mammon, I think. Oh, yeah, Prince Mammon, yeah. And Prince Mammon, I king at them, yeah. Yeah, Prince Mammon who thinks he's like the leader of Royal Knights or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, th this is like really good art, as have been all the uh, Seeker art. Great, uh, like, wording. But <laughs> you get the point, you get the point. Next we have Argomon. This is... If, if we are not talking about the Tamers out, this is like my least favorite. There's nothing really wrong with it. It's like, it's just so st like static, static. Yeah. It, it, it feels like it's stopped in time. Yeah, kinda. yeah. Like I, uh, this, this doesn't like give me the feeling that this Argomon is going to destroy everything, or yeah. it's going to be like it, it feels like it's just like stopped in place and it will like wake up in thousand years or yeah, something. Yeah, it feels more like a statue. Yeah. So this doesn't like. Uh, oh, oh, also, we talked before this like recording that that Argomon's design doesn't give much like. Yeah. Hell. <laughs> yeah, that that is true. I would like like I would like to see some movement in this picture. It would make it much better. There is the smoke on the back, but like it's not enough for me and the wind, but like the Argomon is perfectly still, so it like uh yeah. Does not do it for me. And the wind and smoke is not like super obvious if you're not looking for it. Yeah, if you're just concentrating on the Argomon, you don't even see the uh, wind and smoke. Yeah. But once like, again, I really, uh, really appreciate that this is a, a green, purple Digimon, and <laughs> it really is green and purple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. How to decide what color should this Digimon be in the game? Hmm, it's green and purple, so let's make it green and purple. <laughs> let's move to another uh, adversary Digimon, bad Digimon. <laughs> yeah, the Eosmon. Eosmon. This I like. Yeah, I, I like I like this more than I like initially thought. Because this does have like movement and like feeling of something happening. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not like I'm not like perfectly sure what is happening in this picture, but it feels like something big is starting or something is like going on. It feels powerful. And I I, I actually kind of hope that the Elsmon deck actually becomes at least somewhat playable. Yeah, <laughs> like I, I'm. I'm not going to play Eosmon myself probably because I don't have any of the Eosmons. Yeah, and neither I, do I. Sold, and I like sold my Morphomons and stuff. But, but I, I hope for all of those who like have been glamoring for Eosmon to be good that the deck is actually playable, even at least on the, like a castle. Yeah, I, I hope that the Numemon effect happens to Eosmon. They, they get Eosmon level 4 x antibody. Like, what? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that would be so weird. Uh, 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 just just think, if you had, like, Morphomon X and then, like, Eosmon level 4, 5, and 6 X. Or think about Eosmon X that can just evolve on top of Eosmon. <laughs> that would be it, weird. It, it would be weird. It, it would be interesting to have like it would have like three different uh, black evolve costs there, like from level four, from level five, <laughs> or like it would be like uh, one cost from any Eos one, and then it would be copy its uh, level stats and uh, level and stats. Well, that would be interesting. <laughs> yeah, Bandai but hire, yeah. hire us. <laughs> yeah, we can design your stupid cards. And yeah. stupid Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I like this art. Yeah, the art is great. I really enjoy the light uh, background. 
and then the wings are like so huge. Indeed. Then we have the Dextero Ga. Even more bad Digimon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and an ex antibody Digimon. <laughs> or, or I think it's bad Digimon, but I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, and it, well. It's, it's SOC traded, but it's a Dex Digimon, so. <laughs> no spoilers for uh, Digimon Seekers. Go read it or uh, watch Digi, Digimon Central's uh, read. A reading on it or something uh, this is this is great it looks evil and menacing this is like yeah. from some Marvel movie bad uh, guy on the last uh, like act yeah this feels like the Digimon has uh, to compare it to the Marvel movies it's like this Digimon has just appeared here in the middle of like big fight and it's going to like kill everyone. Yeah. Once again we can uh, uh, blame Loki from doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Loki summoned Dexter. <laughs> it would, it, this would be uh, his deck. The, 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 this, is, this is the uh, collaboration we need. Yeah. I, I would really enjoy that. Marvel. Digimon in Marvel Marvel movies. Yeah. Oh. That that's that's what I need. But yeah, then the art have... is really great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. And it, it's like again, it, although here like Dexterogramon is kind of static, but everything else uh, yeah. around it gives the picture life. And yeah. action. The, and is, you can you can you can feel what is happening, basically. Yeah, it looks like it's just levitating upwards little by little and just charging or coming to be or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's, but, it's an interesting one. And then then we move to Secret Rares and after that we are going to talk a little about the uh, chase cards. Uh, our first secret is Fenri Logamon Takemi Kasuchi. I actually never realized that it's before the Greymon, but of course it is because it's purple and white comes after purple. Uh, I really do enjoy this art. I have to say that for me the biggest problem here is the fact that the sample text really hurts it in this <laughs> like. Uh, <laughs> Wait a second. I'll I'll have I have the uh, versions without sample text, and I linked you the link for it, so uh, you can take a look without the sample text. <laughs> yeah, because the sample text in the version that I I'm seeing for here is like the sample is like like bang in the middle and it really gets in the way yeah <laughs> uh, i sent you the link in discord yes yes yeah. i'm glad it it just loads for a oh yeah yeah little forever the digimon card game website is like slow, slow. <laughs> <laughs> like slow <laughs> yeah uh but i i really do enjoy this art it's uh much better than the regular secret art and once again it it's done by the same artists uh, as the rest of the seeker arts so it really fits in the like in the world of seekers yeah I finally got the one with without the sample text <laughs> yeah it, it's not as good quality but uh, you can see it yeah it's it's a it's a good action shot. Yeah, it really is. One it, like nitpick is well, it's more about the Digimon's design than the cards design. But it's so weird that this is like DNA Digivolution between Kazuchimon and Fender Logamon, but then it's like Fender Logamon <laughs> with the sword. Yeah, yeah. It's basically Kazuchimon gives up a sword and. It's still Fender Logamon. Yeah. So is Kasutsimon a legend arms Digimon because it becomes a <laughs> sword? 
<laughs> Maybe. Yeah, yeah, it's like usually, usually like DNA are like an actual like fusion or completely different like Digimon. Yeah. But this is more just like Fenrir Logamon with a sword. Yeah, it's like I was waiting this to be like Alphamon or Yuken that you digivolve this on top of Fenrir Logamon with uh, Kasuchimon under there. But then it's just DNA. And it's weird for me. But <laughs> what can you do? Nothing. Yeah. Except Banda, you can hire us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really pushing it today. <laughs> I see. Uh, then we have the Kremon Altart. Yep. By the trustworthy Sasasi. It's a solid one. Yeah. I, I don't have any like big feelings about this altar. It's a good altar and it probably looks really great when you see it on in person. Yeah. So this is not too splashy or not too boring, but it's like middle of the ground, in my opinion. Yeah. It works, basically. Yeah. yeah. And the, that is my my deep analysis of this car uh, is this altar. <laughs> It works. <laughs> it works. Yeah. Great job. And then we can take a little... Uh, Let, let's look. Uh, yeah. Let's look short, at short, the... Short, short review of the chase alberts. Yeah. Uh, we start with the Omnimon. <laughs> was like confused. What is this Digimon? <laughs> uh, this feels like the OG Ghost Omnimon. To me. Yeah. I'm not like the biggest fan of this, like basically one colored or like super shiny, just just all shine uh, shine alt arts that yeah. we are we have some of these. And like I don't think they look that oh, of course I haven't seen like any of in person I think. Yeah. But like at least as like this kind of like picture it doesn't look anything that i would like actually want to play play or use in my deck that much yeah it's just a, a like trophy card or a card feels... to like make you money <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah it, it's fine uh the design i i like the like a uh, school of design in this card uh, I, I like to draw like this myself, but like uh, with this uh, much contrast or not even much, this less contrast, this little contrast, thank you, uh, <laughs> it does not work that well for me. Yeah. Then we have the Imperial Ramon Paladin Mode Ace. This is a little bit better to me because this actually has some color in it. Yeah, there is contrast. <laughs> so the the color brings immediately like something to the picture, yeah. in my opinion. So so I enjoy that way way more than the Omnimon because well the Omnimon is like only a white Digimon. So they went with hmm, it's only a white Digimon. So Let's make the whole picture white. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, basically white. A little a glare on that card and it's gone. Yeah. But this is great. I really do enjoy it. And this is one of those uh, art where the arts where the uh, Imperial Ramon looks like menacing and not dull. Like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This Next, is cool. we have the Crimson mode, which is only red <laughs> uh what color would you like would you like this card to be red <laughs> <laughs> how much red yes <laughs> <laughs> yes yes uh i don't like this it's too red yeah it's like color it's nice that it has color but when it's only a single color <laughs> it's oil <laughs> it's only color yeah it's it's like the art itself is, seems like a 
pretty badass art. But you can't really like enjoy the art that much because the card looks like it will probably blind you when someone like <laughs> uh, like little, makes a little wiggle with it and it hits the light and then you're blinded. So, yeah, but at least if, if you are at the card shop and you see a booster that shines red, you can see, oh, there's... <laughs> There's a Chris Brown ace. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and then we have the Shiny Greymon Burst Mode. It's shiny. Ace, which is only yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. Uh, the art, like, uh, under the yellowness is good. But yeah, again, it's, the, it's the, hard, art, hard the, art looks, <laughs> the art looks good as much as we can see it from here, but... <laughs> Yeah, and this is why I don't like to like uh, look at these renders of the cards uh, of, of like these SP cards because you can't really appreciate those without the glare and what well, glare? Well, yeah, glare and uh, texture Foil. and foiling. Yeah. yeah, but still, like I'm, I'm not a big fan of these like singular colored. Yeah. Almost glow color like foilings. Neither am I. Uh, the Take Mikasuchi, Federal Government Take Mikasuchi is actually. This I actually kind of like, to yeah. be honest. This is different. We have color! Yeah, we have colors. In <laughs> yeah, multiple colors. <laughs> and these have this like. Now that I'm looking at, looking at it better, like. This has the. This has the kind of like. How do I say it? It has this like Asian or like yeah. Uh, what is it like? This kind of like almost um, religious like painting on a wall kind of feel. Yeah, like uh, like the, the mural. mystical like yeah. mural kind of thing where they are t telling about the legend of this Digimon. Yeah, you know and what is what has happened. This looks like a modern day Duel Masters card. <laughs> to me, <laughs> and uh, I like—I really like this. But uh, one thing that separates this and the Greymons from these uh, one-colored cards is that this is just two two-star uh, secret rare yeah. art. Uh, those earlier uh, cards SP. were SPs, so spe special. special rares. So, so this is not this is not like the chasiest of chase cards, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's still another alt. I don't know if there is a difference between the rarity, but I don't know. But yeah, this is better. This is then, the then best. Then we chase. have then we have actually two Greymon alt alt yeah. arts. Uh, the first one is from the Tri movie. Uh, Greymon fighting Paratmon. Paratmon getting uh, so much like. Uh, uh, limelight in this set. <laughs> More than ever. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't enjoy this as much as the yeah. regular art or the Takemukasuchi. Uh, the strokes are golden. Uh, they will probably look much better in textured form, but like as a picture, I don't like those yeah. golden strokes. I and like I'm not the biggest fan of these, either of these. Like, I I know I said I want action or like live in my alt arts earlier, but like these feel like they're they're not supposed to be like singular Digimon's alt arts. Yeah. They feel like they feel like option cards or some yeah. kind of like, that's that true kind of thing. Uh oh, uh, this is. Probably just a screen grab from the movie <laughs> because there's no no uh, uh, artist. artist. Yeah, yeah, that is possible. And then they just made it like the lines golden or something. Yeah, they just textured it. And, yeah. Huh, interesting. Yeah, but no. I actually I think I actually enjoy the like the normal Greymon alt either Better, of yeah. these. Yeah, same. These feels these feel so much like just collectibles. Yeah. Like you're supposed to get these if you want to collect certain things or whole set or something. Yeah. Uh, then we, uh, let, let's talk about the, the second Kremonal. 
for a moment. This is much better for me. Uh, maybe it's just the like better screenshot, <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, and because this is from the original Digimon uh, movie or short film or special TV special. I don't know what it is called, but uh, uh, I I I like this more. Yeah, I think I like the second one more also. Yeah, but. I still think I prefer the Molly Graham and all. Yeah, I do also. Yeah, but that's all that we have to say about these alt arts. Uh, we've oh, been here. That was a lot. That was a lot of alt arts. Twenty-eight. Okay. Twenty-eight. Uh, we've been here here almost an hour. So uh, thank you if you listened and watched. And watched. Yes. yes. Uh, all, we all really, the way we really, we really appreciate you. And if you, if you, if you watched slash uh, listened to this whole uh, all the way through, leave a comment. Yeah. We're going, to, we're going to come and uh, <laughs> really appreciate your. Yeah. Uh, have you have you done? What have you done? And okay. if if you really enjoyed this, uh, consider becoming a channel member to help us out. And. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. You will just listen to us for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> we will go through the uh, upcoming Liberator Starter Deck uh, reveals as a whole. Yeah. Revealed. Yeah. When both of the starter are like revealed. So uh, probably no Monday video next week. Uh, I'm going to enjoy my Sunday. And yeah, this is this came out in Tuesday because my work scheduling was kind of <laughs> tight. So uh, sorry about that. I hope you didn't forget about us already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, thanks for listening and watching, and we will he hear you. See you at the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>